Form has been in the game since release, yet few people have perfected it. So let's get right into my guide, recommended by 9 out of 10 farmers. Firstly, stop upgrading farms past level 3. Level 4 and 5 farms are a scam. Why? They're just like super cost inefficient. Like Level 4 costs 2.5k, right? On normal mode. And only gives 250 cash. That's 10 waves just to get your money back, which is awful. You're trying to make money, not lose it. Now, level 5 is no exception, with it costing 5k and only giving 750 more per wave. That totals to 7 waves, just to get your cash back. Now, sure you can sell it for more at the last wave, but that leads me to my next point. Wave counts. The more waves there are in a mode, the more effective farms are, right? That's why normal mode is commonly seen as harder than molten, as it makes farming difficult with its slow 30 waves opposed to all the other game modes besides hardcore having 40. Those 10 waves in normal mode, albeit not sounding that bad, make level 4 and 5 farms basically useless in normal mode. Thus I recommend sticking to only level 3 farms for this mode. As for 40 wave modes like Molten and Fallen, I'd still recommend level 3 farms over level 5 farms in most cases, which you'll see why soon. Hardcore however, has 50 waves, making it at face value the best mode to get max farms, right? Yet why do we never see level 5 farms in strategies? Well, sure, the upgrade costs are 50% more, but the biggest point here is that you don't need level 5 farms to win hardcore, so why are you using them on easier modes? Level 3 farms are a lot less risky, as you can help your team out way sooner, making chances of losing mid-game like a at least 69% less likely. Trust me, the amount of times I've lost to someone maxing their farms instead of helping has made me genuinely triggered. Don't be that guy, please. Following that, we have upgrade order. Here's a chart on how many waves each level farm takes to pay itself off. So basically, the lower, the better. As we can see, farm upgrades get more efficient up to level 3. It then reaches the wall that is level 4. Yikes. As you can see, it's always better to first upgrade your farms from level 0 to level 2 one by one, and then to level 3, opposed to placing more of them, if possible. And if you're gonna go level 5, upgrade them from level 3 to level 5 one by one, please. Next, for those looking to speedrun or simply cut down on wave times when playing with randoms, I recommend level 3 farms. Most matchmaking farmers tend to overfarm, so they help out way too late. So once you get your level 3 farms up, start defending and you'll be cutting down on a lot of mid wave times. Moving on, we have waiting for waves to end for the wave cache. This ensures you might just be able to get a cost efficient upgrade instead of having to place another farm down, which would be slightly less efficient overall. Every like I get on this video, I will plant a level 3 farm. See you on the next one.